Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Video Talk, we're going to be taking a look at color lookup tables, or LUTs as they're commonly referred to. Now, basically, a LUT is a lookup table that masks the color of our drone video uh, to enhance it and to improve it. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but I've, at the Wikipedia page, just sort of demonstrated. It, it's basically a mathematical mask that alters the colors because one of the things I wanted to share with you is how does the CCD actually see color and this is an example of a CCD or a CMOS a charge couple device or uh, a CMOS based device and long story short we basically have three pixel sites that collect the color you know red blue and green and it's the values of those combined that make up the color that we see and we can kind of see here back on the Wikipedia page how this all comes together now you don't have to be a math magician to make all this work and what I'm going to show you is some easy ways to do this to get some really interesting um, you know uh, you know looks out of your drone footage so one of my favorite programs is cyber direct uh, cyber links power director 16 I'll spit that out it's just basically power director 16 I've used power director for quite some time uh, version 16 now includes uh, the ability to use uh, LUTs in Inside the program so this is a fantastic program I'll have a link below uh, very affordable very powerful so long story short I've brought in a uh, piece of video from the uh, unique typhoon now one of the things that you want to do is you want to have the uh, image rather flat and this is one of the reasons I shoot a lot of the video rather flat I want to try to bring this up into full screen so you can really see it now notice how all the colors in this image is you know are flat the blues really aren't that blue the red roofs aren't really that red you know the color of the sand etc so let's drop back out of this now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a LUT and I'm going to use a Kodachrome LUT now I'll spit that out that's a mouthful uh, and there are numerous types of LUTs out there uh, that you can download for free or you can purchase but in this case what we're going to do is we're going to select the video clip here and then we're going to go over here to fix and enhance and we're going to click on that and what that's going to do is pull up a box and over here we see lookup table or a LUT and we're going to click that and then up here it's going to say browse we're going to browse for that LUT and so here we have the uh, K-Tone or code code a chrome image if uh, I do Paul Simon any justice here so we're going to select this and we're just going to collect open now what's going to happen you notice that this is now changed over here so let's go ahead and make this larger so you remember how flat the colors were now look how vibrant the colors are now it's not saying that um, you know this is the right one I've selected this one in particular so you can see the stark contrast also look at the deepness of the colors of the trees the deepness of the blue also if we look out here the clouds the that were basically invisible in the last one now becomes somewhat visible so this using a LUT is a very powerful tool in shooting video or in the uh, you know uh, video drones profile uh, if you will so I tell you what let's go back and drop out of this I've uh, already ran this clip through so what I want to do is share with you guys a brief time lapse about a minute long time lapse of the uh, comparison of this video with the LUT applied with the original video and you can just see what a stark contrast it is now I did cut it down for time you know this is you know roughly almost a five minute clip I cut it down to about a minute so there's going to be you know some um, you know transitions in it but again the idea is just to share with you the color so let's go ahead let's take a quick look at that and we'll come back for a second
Okay, as you can, as you saw from the video, there's quite a bit of difference between uh, no LUT and this particular LUT applied. Now, again, I've used this one in particular because of the stark contrast of colors. It's very easy to see. Now, one of the things, you know, again, there are numerous types of LUTs. Again, you can download for free or you can purchase uh, out on videodrone.diy3dtech.com. I'm going to start building a list of, of LUTs and things like that. So look for this in the future uh, of different ones. And then also I'll be doing some experimentations uh, with different LUTs and I'll let you guys know which one works best because again, it's a bit camera centric, if you will, and also in the way that the color has been captured. So not all are equal. And you may have some video from a Spark versus a Unique versus a uh, uh, you know Phantom 3 and all will act react potentially a little bit differently to the LUT. Uh, so you basically have to experiment around and once you sort of get that feel for it then you'll kind of know going forward uh, you know which LUT will typically work better with it etc. So anyways hopefully you found this uh, of value and again I'll have the link to PowerDirector uh, 16 below. This is a great program for uh, you know drone videography. So if you're looking for a step up this is definitely it. It's very affordable. You can get versions sub 100 bucks uh, real easy. A lot of material on uh, YouTube about how to use it. And I'm going to be doing some more material on it uh, myself in this uh, video talk section. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. Uh, I had pizza today. Yeah, it was my wife's birthday yesterday and it was leftover. So anyways, see you guys in the next video. Cheers.